how do you view i know you asked this to um brother roshan i think his name is the journalist and he had a very somewhat uh, pessimistic view um how would you describe the future of islam in the uk um and i'll preface that by just adding this because myself when i think of staying in this country i think now we live in this people say the globalized village and what not global village i think yes. it's very attractive for me to plan and prepare by the will of allah to move out as in i think there's going to be a lot of muslims who are passionate muslims that they're going to think the best deal on offer to me is just to move to a country where it's easier uh, what what's your thinking on that topic of the future of islam in the uk and where you see things headed well it's funny you should say that because i've invited um uh, 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 an academic uh, professor linda woodhead she's a uh, professor at college here in london a very prestigious sociologist of religion um to talk about this subject well an aspect of this subject. Um, she's done a lot of research on this, high level research. She gave a lecture uh, several weeks ago. That's how I even knew about her talking about this subject, which I watched on YouTube. And she says some very interesting things. I think she probably comes from a kind of, I mean, I don't know, but I suspect she comes from kind of an Anglican Christian background. I could be wrong, but that, that's my impression. Uh, she's certainly not a Muslim. Uh, she's Professor Linda Woodhead. Um, and what she says is very interesting. And I think uh, this is part of the answer to, uh, she'll come on, uh, God willing, beginning of December after this particular academic term has concluded. She's very busy doing that, she says, which is obviously very understandable. Um, she says that, that she's looking at the, the recent census uh, of the population, which is uh, due to be published soon. She's done a lot of her own research in Britain about religious groups, religious adherents attendance at churches and mosques and synagogues and whatnot unbelief you know uh, uh, people who practice witchcraft and magic and the occult because they're on the rise pagan pagans they call mm. themselves pagans that's big increase and what she says is very interesting and it kind of rings true from my own personal individual experience that overall religion in this country is in decline badly i mean it really is going down the attendance at churches whether it be catholic or even even evangelical or um, Church of England is in free fall. And if you look at the statistics from over a decade ago, compared to recent published statistics, there's a massive uh, decline with one exception. <laughs> and the exception is Muslims and Islam, where the opposite is happening. Um, and she said in one point in the lecture that to be religious, to be Christian in this country is not cool. Those are her words. It's not cool to be Christian. But it is cool, she says, to be a Muslim. I mean, if you are a young person, this is what she is. You know, if you're a young person and you're a Muslim, it's cool. You know, it's not like, oh my God, how can you be this boring? Really, you're a Muslim. You know, that it's kind of, it creates a, a little bit of a, you know, um, it's interesting. It, it, you get a reaction. But who cares if you're Christian? You know, it, it's like, not interesting, not interesting. Um, so, and... and it is the case, I think, and I know some multiple sources that Muslims in Britain are overwhelmingly, and this certainly I've experienced this, have held on to the traditional conservative understanding of their faith, uh, and young people as well. I mean, I went to the, when I went to Juma uh, on yesterday um, to a mosque in um, in Shepherd's Bush, and um, it's a Salafi mosque. Um, it's where um, Shamsi goes. Uh, in fact, he gave the kubra actually, uh, and. It's in a really not a very pleasant part of the, the, the market. You know, it's where there's refuse outside. I mean, it's not the mosque fault, by the way, to stress this. It's the people who manage the Shepherd's Bush market. But the whole area it's in, the media area, is not pleasant. And I'm being polite. And you go into the mosque, and it's clean in the mosque, of course. Um, but it's not Regent's Park Mosque. It hasn't got a big chandelier. It's not glamorous. It doesn't have trustees who are the ambassadors of the Muslim nations, like <laughs> Regent's Park Mosque does. Okay. All, all the trustees of the mosque are all the ambassadors from all the Muslim countries on the planet. That, that is, they, they, they're the management committee of Regent's Park Mosque, I kid you not. This mosque is uh, not like that, um, but it is packed. I mean, it's really, I mean, when we were praying, you know, it was like we were really squeezed. Um, and it's full of mainly young people, younger guys, I would say 20s and 30s, perhaps. Um, and, you know, you choose to go to a place where you wouldn't want to hang around very much because it's not, you know, 
the reasons I mentioned. But the point is, if you go to the church down the road, the church down the road, and I, I know which building it is, um, it's never open. Apparently, very, very few people go there, I'm told by someone who knows. Um, and this is like a, a snapshot of what's going on here, that I I Islam is attracting young people. They're, they're solid and orthodox in their faith. Christianity is unfortunate. I say unfortunately, I really want Christianity to be strong in Britain as a counterbalance to the forces of secularism and kufr and so on. Um, it is the opposite. So the only success story is actually Islam in Britain. And this is something to be happy about. It's something to be excited about. Something is a good, it's a good news story. I, I know there's so many bad news stories around and whether it be Islamophobia, discrimination, all that of course is real and terrible. But there is actually an amazing good news story here is that Islam is robust and strong in Britain, I think, in terms of the adherence and the enthusiasm and the commitment of generations of pretty new younger people now who will go to places which you wouldn't really want to go to because the area is not very nice, but they go there every, every Friday and they listen and they're serious about their faith and they really are committed. And this is amazing. This is an amazing success story in secular terms if you like, mm. about a religious group in Britain, which is not found anywhere else. Mm.